Politics is fascinating just now. It's a good time to be a, a cartoonist, for sure. I'm never short of stuff. I personally think it's important to keep politics kind of accessible. I've only been in politics for the past five years, but for me it feels like so much has happened in a space of time. You've had independence referendum, Brexit, we've had, what, two, three general elections? Scottish elections, EU elections, it's been a lot. But I think that's good as well because it gives you a lot to like get involved in. When I was kind of growing up and in primary school and stuff and I would draw in my school drawers and stuff and I'd get in trouble for it. And to be honest, I was like super quiet as well. So for me, drawing was like my method of communicating. Like I think I communicate much better with comics and pictures than I do with words. And then it actually wasn't until maybe I was in my mid 20s where I got back into art and I got more into comics and indie comics and zines. I think I've been quite fortunate that I've developed a very recognisable style. These cute faces with big eyes and no noses. Like I think making books and getting them published is cool but there's little things like I remember seeing people dressed up as one of my characters. I still can't get my head around that. Especially because I know how much comics meant to me as a kid. It's just so cool to see other kids feeling the same about my stuff. <laughs> I properly get <getting> choked up. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of myself as political. During the 2014 independence referendum, so much more people got more kind of enlightened about Scottish politics and that was what it was for me. Yes, a lot of people see that 2014 referendum was like very divisive. Like, of course it was, but I think a lot of people got much more involved in politics. I would live draw stuff during the leaders' debate, and it was just fun. But it kind of it caught some traction, and people started paying attention to it. And it was just me being daft. But from there, I think STV caught on to it, so I started working for STV for a bit, and I had a regular strip there. And then afterwards, um, started working with the National, got a weekly strip there. So just now is the kind of hardest part. So this is where I try and get my ideas of what I want to do. It's always hard because yes, you want something funny and try to think of jokes on the spot is hard, but you're also trying to think of like relevant stuff. You're trying to like scour the news to find like funny bits and try and make jokes about it. But you also kind of want something that will hold up as well because the news moves so fast. I don't want to do something and then by tomorrow when it goes to print, no one's talking about it or it doesn't make sense or anything. I feel like political satire is important. It's important to kind of make fun of stuff. And I think it also helps people make sense of things as well. Like I think it's, it's just natural to be like, here, isn't this kind of stupid? Or is it this kind of funny or isn't this kind of contradictive? Like, so much stuff is so easy to like satire. Like, they feel like they are cartoons. Like, they feel like they came out the box, like, just to be cartoon characters almost, you know? And it just, it makes my job, like, a joy. The political climate just now is quite hot. Seems like it's constant debate, constant argument. And I think it's good that people are, like, checking out facts and stuff and debating stuff, but obviously this does get nasty and people do get really heated about it and that does concern me so that's kind of why I like to try and keep stuff light-hearted and jokey but I do get a lot of positive feedback from a lot of different sides like my friend Willie Rennie he's a big fan <laughs> he's got some of my stuff at his office and although he's from like a totally different background like he's anti-independence and stuff I'm like but that's all cool like you can still laugh about this stuff and he kind of laughs at himself so even if it's just someone who's flicking through the paper and reads it for two seconds and goes, ha, like, that's great, that's my job. I'm doing my job well.